Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Now, many SharePoint developers work independently and on their own, but a lot of SharePoint developers work in the scenario of a team. So we have a bunch of developers on a team-based development. And that's what this chapter is going to look at. Now, other chapters in this course are going to deal with some common things among team-based development. Things such as dealing with shared code libraries and testing and continuous integration and continuous deployment and versioning. And I'm not going to touch on those topics in this chapter. And instead, I really only want to focus on a few generic topics that are going to come up in team development. Things such as the SharePoint framework development isn't really all that special. So don't treat it as something special. We're going to talk about developer environments and some guidance on how you should look at developer environments in your organization for SharePoint framework developers. And then we're also going to look at how you can organize your projects and some source code based topics that we're going to look at. So let's go ahead and dive into this first section on that SharePoint framework isn't so special. 